Hello my dear friends, you're in the military summary channel and this short video we're going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous night of the local time. And the most important updates of course as usually are coming from the Bradley Square from the area of the battle for Abotina, the small settlement that located on the south of Orekhov. As I understand, based on the geolocations we received during the previous night, uh, the, this battle is about to be finished and the Ukrainians is about to capture and establish control over the entire settlement. Today we got probably the first geolocations from the southern part of the settlement. We are not going to watch them at all because on these videos, on these geolocated videos, we see how the Ukrainians managed to push to the south. And as a result of offensive operation, the Ukrainians managed to encircle the Russian forces somewhere in this building. And after that, they captured them. So there were no like violence or killings or something like this. Just the video how the Ukrainians captured the Russian soldiers in the southern part of the area. So basically the Ukrainians developed their control to the south and probably uh, and for now it's even unknown which uh, territory, which buildings are still under Russian control. Anyway, anyway, uh, furthermore, the Ukrainians were spotted on the south on the east of Rabotsna and on the west of Verbova on this defense belt. Uh, the Russians discovered the Ukrainian forces and after that they started attacking them and bombing them with the drones. So we see that when talking about the Russians, there is a clash in Rabotsina, but their main, their main, uh, the most important, the most uh, uh, important forces and reserves they try to use against the Ukrainian forces who are currently trying to move in the direction of Virbova. And the Russians published the video how they were bombing and attacking the Ukrainian positions on this line. We also will not watch these videos because of casualties and losses among the people on this line. Furthermore, the Russians published another video how they were bombing and attacking the Ukrainian positions using guided bombs and using the just bombs of aircrafts on the northwest of Verbova on the east of Rabotina. So this is another video that confirms some movements and some progress of the Ukrainian side in this direction as well. So currently, as we can see, the Ukrainians controls almost the entire Robotina and they have got probably the outskirts of Novopakrovka. The Ukrainians have their positions on the fields between Robotina and Verbova and also the Ukrainians are moving further in the direction of the settlement. Uh, the Russians from their side tried to slow down the Ukrainians as much as possible, but the main problem and the main issue in this area is that uh, uh, there are lots of roads during the previous four months the Ukrainians uh, probably managed to demine uh, the entire area and to create a lot of secure roads that they can use to redeploy their forces to the south. When talking about Rabotina, the Russians during the previous night, during the previous evening, were bombing and shelling the northern part, trying to slow down and to reduce the Ukrainian possibilities. This area was under very heavy fire, but as we can see, these actions, those actions didn't help the Russians to slow down or even to force the Ukrainians to step back from the settlement. The Battle of Robotina is about to be finished. And furthermore, another important update is that the Ukrainians published, the Russians, by my bad, published the videos of a very huge convoy heading to the south of uh, Ariakhov area. Uh, this uh, convoy, all these light dots is the armored vehicles and vehicles that were heading in direction of Robotina. Some sources are saying that they managed to calculate around uh, from 50 till 85 like light dots on the video saying that uh, probably the Ukrainians are moving up to 85 armored vehicles just to track infantry reinforcements to the south in direction of this small settlement, in direction of the line between Rabotina and Verbova. And probably the Ukrainians are planning to start another wave of offensive operation with the purpose to anti Verbova or even to move further in direction of Novopakrovka. So the Ukrainians will try to will continue their battle, but so the question I have, what the Ukrainians are planning to do with this reinforcement? To continue their offensive operation from Rabotina to Novopakrovka? Or the Ukrainians will try to continue their offensive operation in the direction of Verbova? But both these attacks have a lot of benefits, of course, and a lot of negative sides, because uh, the Ukrainians still haven't um, complete and still haven't resolved the issue with the two settlements like Nistirianka and Kopany. And there are still high risks that the Russians 
anyway if the Ukrainians will continue to dig in deeper, can attack in the flanks and to the base of their offensive operation in the direction of Novodanilovka and the same situation from Novopokrovka. Probably, and there is a very high chance that the Ukrainians, maybe with the reserves that are sending to the south, will try to develop their bridgehead to the west and to the east and to reduce the risks of being attacked in the direction of their flanks. Anyway, we'll see. But there are very high chances that by the end of this weekend, the Ukrainians will establish the final like flag over Rabotsina, over the southern outskirts, and probably the Ukrainians will be able to enter the northern part of Novopokrovka and the northwestern part of Verbova. This situation about Arekhov Bridge had the battle is about to be finished, and the next stage is going to come. Furthermore, the Russians reported that during the previous night there was the, uh, the most massive attack from the Ukrainian side using drones in direction of Crimea. That was another test of Russian air defense system in the peninsula. The Russians reported that during the previous night they managed to discover up to 42 drones that were heading in direction of Crimea. Res as a result of air defense work, the Russians managed to destroy nine uh, drones and 33 were suppressed by the electronic warfare equipment. Anyway, that was the most massive attack from the Ukrainian side using drones in the direction of Crimea. The Russians, as an act of revenge, start bombing and shelling Odessa, uh, the small settlement in the south of Odessa by the name of Chernomorsk. Uh, as I understand, that was the area that Ukrainians were using to attack Crimea. We haven't received any video or photo confirmation of the results of those attacks. We have just a small black screen with the sound and so on and possible coordinates or direction of a strike. So anyway, as I understand, today we're going to get more updates about the results of that attack. Attack, but for now we have what we have. Uh, when talking about South Donetsk area, the Ukrainians still continue their regrouping. They haven't made any attempt to continue their offensive operation in the direction of Staroblinovka, Kermenchika, Remivka, Periutina, Novodonetska. So just some control over road supply roads that goes to the north with the FEP drones. Nothing special, not, no like big operations, so as I understand. The Ukrainians took a decision to accumulate their armored fist, their main attack fist in direction of Rabotina, and when talking about Rimevka, they will wait a little bit. Furthermore, some sources are saying that a lot of forces from this area were redeployed in another direction, like uh, Kupin's front line or Donetsk front line and so on. But uh, it's very interesting because when talking about Kupinsk and Liman, the number of updates have been reduced significantly during the previous days, as if the Russians stopped any offensive, any attempts to attack in that direction. Furthermore, interesting updates are coming from Uglidar area. F probably a few days in a row due during the previous week, the Ukrainians, uh, the Russians, and the Ukrainians reported about attacks from of Ukrainian forces in direction of Mikolska and Volodymyrovka. All those attempts were repelled, and it's very difficult to understand whether those were uh, the reconnaissance in combat, reconnaissance of force, or real attacks. Uh, uh, but anyway, no geolocated videos about attacks, just the bombing, the shelling. The Russians were bombing the fields, being somewhere in the vicinity of Oglidar, these geolocations added softly. The author of these videos claims that this is a video from Oglidar direction, where the Russians were bombing and attacking the Ukrainian positions along the forest lines. So nothing special, just the bombings uh, due to the situation in this area. And the Ukrainians published the video of, drone of another artillery strike against the Russian positions in the north of Mikolska. So nothing special, but probably, and there is a very high chance, is that at any time the uh, situation can be escalated in this area in both sides either the Russians and the Ukrainians will try to develop their positions on this bridgehead. Uh, when talking about Krasnogorovka we got another geolocated video how the Russians managed as a result of counter artillery duels the Russians managed to discover the Ukrainian artillery system and as a result of strike uh, of Krasnopol, as I understand, that artillery system was destroyed. So we see that the Russians continue suppressing this area, trying to establish complete superiority, but the Ukrainians also have uh, reserves that they can use uh, for the purposes to hold the settlements under the Russian pressure. 
When talking about Bakhmut, we haven't received nothing. Liman and Kupinsk, almost nothing as well. Uh, just uh, about Bakhmut, another video. This new video, how the Russians managed to discover and to destroy the Ukrainian uh, armored vehicle CV-90 uh, somewhere along the railways that goes from Chesov Yar in direction of Yahidne. And as a result of Lancet strike, another Ukrainian armored vehicle was destroyed. The only thing that I mentioned that probably that armored vehicle was already damaged, and this is the old armored vehicle that was damaged during the previous days and the Russians just took a decision to destroy this armored vehicle completely because um, we have uh, some updates from the same area of the same so there was like clashes there were strikes and probably this uh, not the new CV-90 this some old CV-90 that was damaged and the Russians took a decision to destroy it so nothing special just a regular routine we still haven't received any confirmation about the forest um, whether we need to change the combo line or not if you remember we discussed yesterday the clashes uh, in this area so for now we will keep as is but uh, probably i will change the map in this area by showing this territory and the crane control and the russians managed to discover another artillery system in the vicinity of kupinsk and as a result of artillery strike or lancet strike artillery strike that armored vehicle was destroyed uh, on this video it's very difficult to understand what exactly was destroyed but uh, probably crap artillery system or maybe m777 hovodza uh, and that's it for this short video on military summary channel reminds you can damn any violence in the world thank you for your watching subscribe to my channel put your likes join my patreon and have a good day bye bye